Okay, welcome to linuxhint.com. In today's video, we are going to talk about how uh, we can uh, get the information from terminal. Um, when working with terminal in Linux, you might need to use um, a few of the techniques, a few of the information regarding terminal that you might need to use. Uh, you might need to manipulate a few of the things. You might need to uh, do a lot of stuff that is related to the terminal itself okay so for example uh, if you want to show you know move the cursor up and down or if you want to change the colors of the background I mean you can do it um, so today we're gonna see that how we can do those little things how we can get the information about the terminal and actually we could use it um, you know according to our desire all right so the command that we're gonna use is dput okay we're going to use that command to view some of the uh, information and we're going to uh, use that to do a few of the stuff so certainly you can do that in your scripts for so for example if you're writing your bash script uh, we are we are um, coming up uh, with the bash course next month so stay tuned so I would say subscribe to our channel um, and uh, stay with us because that course is gonna come okay so now we were talking about terminal so let's go ahead and let's start and let's do some of the commands using dput and let's see uh, how it can help us all right so let's get started so we press ctrl alt t and uh, once we press ctrl alt t the terminal would open up so the first command that we would write is let's say that we want to know the total number of columns in the terminal so would write here dput and then we'd write here culs so we hit enter and you could see that uh, it has given 80 so it means that we have 80 columns in our terminal all right so now let's go ahead and let's try to find out the number of rows i think it was lines so um 24 so 24 is the number of lines that uh, this terminal has yes so line or lines you could write anything it would just understand it and it and it would give you the information i think it would give me the information using rows probably no it it doesn't so t put lines okay so we have 80 columns and we have 24 lines so this information might be useful when you're uh, displaying large text and you want to display maybe some of the text in on on some specific lines all right so we'll see how can we do that as well how we can move the cursor so the next command is uh, i think this terminal has uh, in total it has uh, 256 colors okay so let's go ahead and let's see if that's true <laughs> colors okay so yes it has 256 colors okay so you can use numbers i think uh, it, it starts from zero and it goes to 255 so um, as we have included zero so till two 255 it is total 256 colors so there is a command using which you can actually change the background okay so we'll see that as well so now let's go ahead and uh, let's see the terminal's name so if you want to view the name of the terminal you just have to write long name here and you can see x term with 256 colors okay so the next command uh, is that if you want to move the cursor so for example i want to move it uh, like a hundred a hundred okay so you can see that it has basically moved the cursor right here so this 100 represent rows and this 100 represents columns okay so i hope you've got the point so if you would write 70 50 so uh, this would be appearing in the middle of here something like this okay so now uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's try to do a few things so let me just clear it first so now what we're going to do is that we are going to write a command here let's write here t put c i v i s so this command basically it uh, it has made the cursor invisible so you can see there is no cursor okay so if i try to write you can see i can write but there is no cursor so if you want to get back the cursor so what you can do you would write here t put space and then you would write here c norm so you can see that you've got the cursor back so the next command that we're going to discuss is dput smul and what it does that it basically underlines it 
and if you want to end this underline then you just simply have to write the put rmul and underline has ended okay so for example if you are writing a bash script or something then you've got to write for example if you're coding then you're going to write tput smul from where you want to start the underline process and you'd write tput rmul where you want to end this the underline okay so i hope you've got the point here so now we would move ahead and would use another command which is tput uh, blink so what it does that it would start to blink your text would start to blink so you can see that your text is right now blinking so wherever uh, for example if you're writing again a bash script uh, so if you want something to blink your answer or whatever you can write that down this command t put blink and it would basically make uh, whatever the text or uh, paragraph or whatever you would want it would make it blink okay so i hope you've got the point so now uh, t put would write here i n v i s so it would this time it would not make the cursor invisible but it would make the text go invisible so for example in your bash script if you have written it around some text so the uh, that text would go invisible okay so then uh, we can also play with the color so for example i have told you that uh, we have got 256 colors okay so we'd write here t put and then we would write here set a b so basically set a b is used um, for background so we are going to uh, try to reset the background the color so we'd write here from 0 to 255 okay so if we write here 0 you can see there is a color uh, it has changed the color of the background so if i if, if i would write here one you can see there is a different color so if i write here set a b let's say 250 it has a different color so let's say if i write here t put set a b 255 it would have this color but here if i would write here t put set a b 256 that is not gonna work because till 255 we have 256 colors so it was starting from zero so zero is an extra number that it has taken so from zero to 255 it's 256 colors okay so i hope you've got the point so uh, i think uh we'd go from here so there's a last command that i would like to discuss if you write here like t put home you hit enter and you can see that the cursor has moved up moved upwards uh okay here home like here so if you want to come down just keep on hitting enter and you would come down okay so i hope you have got the point you have enjoyed today's video you have learned something new for written articles keep visiting our website linuxhint.com and i'll see you in the next video